Chief David Goldstein. You have five minutes. Can you break that down to two and a half? I'm certainly going to try that, Chair. It's getting warm over there. Oh. Good afternoon, Madam Chair, members of the committee. My name is David Goldstein. I'm the Chief of Police in the City of Franklin. I've been a police officer for almost 34 years. What I'd like to do this afternoon is just share some facts with the committee relative to marijuana. I would like to tell you that I was able to research all of these on my own. I did not. A lot of these, if not most of them, came from the National Association of Drug Court Professionals. And is there, it is their position statement on marijuana. And they have, uh, the reason that I feel that this is important is that they have, in fact, included the uh, research sources for a lot of these facts. Also, for the benefit of the committee, I submitted cards for each one of the bills, but this will be the same time, so each time I have to just to move right along. You don't get they don't get Marijuana is considered the most commonly abused illegal drug among adults and youth in the United States. And this came from a survey of drug, drug use and health, a summary of national findings in 2012. The use of marijuana or the rates of use have risen substantially since 2007, same source. Social disapproval for using marijuana has been decreasing among teens since 2007. That came from a 2010 study from uh, the uh, secondary school students, uh, a uh, monitoring the future national survey results on drug use. And I will tell you that this morning, at the request of the superintendent of SAU 18 in Franklin, we did do a canine search of both the high school and the middle school for illegal drugs, and only one locker was hit out of over 600 students. So our students are smarter than we are. Most youth are in treatment for marijuana abuse or dependence and for the use of alcohol and all other drugs. That came from a 2010 study and that is available online from SAMHSA. SAMHSA. Emergency room mentions for marijuana now exceed those for heroin and are continuing to rise, also from uh, SAMHSA, a 2011 study. Where is the proactive uh, ingredient in the marijuana? Tetrahydrocannabinol, THC, has increased almost sixfold in average potency during the past 30 years. That is a 2004 study from the Journal of Forensic Sciences. Marijuana is addictive for one in nine adults and one in six adolescents who use the drug. That is from a 2002 study from the Journal of Neuropsychopharmacology. Marijuana negatively affects the development of the adolescent brain. That is from a 2004 study, the Annals of the New York Academy of Sciences. <clears throat> Marijuana smokers report serious symptoms of chronic bronchitis and other respiratory illnesses. That is a 2007 study from the Archives of Internal Medicine. Marijuana use during adolescence is directly linked to the onset of major mental illness, including psychosis, schizophrenia, depression, and anxiety. That's a 2010 study a book uh, entitled Cannabis Policy Moving Beyond Stalemate. Marijuana triggers relapse to other drugs of abuse among the participants in substance abuse programs and treatment programs <coughs> and increases failure rates in drug courts. That is a 2001 study of the Journal of Drug Issues. Marijuana reduces the efficiency of rewards for pro-social activities such as those used in drug courts to improve offenders' behaviors also a 2004 study from the Journal of Behavioral Pharmacology. Marijuana, the use of marijuana makes addiction to other drugs more likely. That is a 2008 study, Current Drug Abuse Review Journal. It's used consistently associated with poor academic grades and reduced likelihood of graduating from school. That is a 2004 study from the British Medical Journal known as Lancet. Marijuana use uh, impairs the ability to function effectively and safely on the job and increases work-related absences, tardiness, accidents, compensation claims, and drug, drug, uh, excuse me, and drug turnover. And that came from a 2012 study, NIDA Research Report Series. Higher levels of marijuana use associated with lower satisfaction of intimate romantic relationships, work, family, friends, leisure pursuits, and life in general. And that is a 2008 study in addiction. 
teens may significantly lower their IQ if they smoke marijuana. And that is a 2012 study, Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Marijuana use by parents is strongly associated with child abuse and neglect, and there are a number of resources that have cited that fact. Uh, in 2000 study, uh, Child Neglect, Current Definitions and Models, going back to the late 90s, uh, Children in a Violent Society, and 1992, Behavioral and Brain Sciences. <clears throat> Marijuana use consistently predicts a greater likelihood of involvement in crime and criminal justice and involvement with the criminal justice system, 2008, the Journal of Addiction. Long-term marijuana use has been shown to negatively affect the central nervous system in ways that may promote violence. That comes from a 1993 study uh, from, uh, in, in understanding and preventing, preventing violence. There is a consistent link between frequent marijuana <coughs> use and violent crime, and property damage has been identified among juveniles. Again, a variety of resources going back to the 90s and into the 2000s. For example, the Journal of Addictive Diseases. And finally, for the purposes of this, marijuana impairs motor coordination and reaction time and is the second most prevalent drug after alcohol implicated in motor vehicle accidents. That is a 2010 study, uh, Drug Driver Research, a white paper from the N uh, National Institute of Drug Abuse. There are more facts that I can share with you. I will submit this to the clerk, but quite frankly, uh, I represent the New Hampshire Association of Chiefs of Police, and we object to this. Thank you, sir. Any questions? Seeing none, thank you. Thank you. Paul Shea. You do have one. Yes. Thank you, Chief.